Hi, I'm Jenny with Roots Wings Furniture, and today I'm going to show you how to make new pine look like old chippy wood. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm working on a DIY project, and I'm actually building this old door lintel into a mantle. It's going to be a little bit of a project, but something I'm excited to do. But my problem was I've got this old authentic chippy paint on this piece and I'm building with brand new pieces of pine that don't look anything like it. So I'm going to use some paint and use some crackle to give this that old world chippy cracky texture that we want so that the two pieces can match. So that's what we're going to work on today. Let's come down and we'll start with our first coat um, and we'll get started. All right, here is my piece and I've built these. These are the two um, sides of the mantle that will go down. It is just raw pine. I actually have not done a thing to it and I don't mind some of the texture. I'm okay with the roughness of the wood. The first thing we need to do is give us a base coat of paint. I'm going to use driftwood. This will be the color that will show through the cracks. Um, so I'm picking driftwood because it's not it's not a super contrast like black. I don't want anything like that The mantle is going to be white overall, but it's just going to be enough that it's going to show up as a different color um, And give us some good texture underneath So just grab a brush and I'm going to brush this on Just a nice liberal coat You don't have to be too careful about brush strokes or anything. We're just going to give this a nice coat of coverage. I do love this color. It is that really pretty light gray. Covers really nicely too. About it. I'm just going to let this dry until it is completely dry and then we will move on with our next step. Alright, my base coat of driftwood is all the way dry so we are going to do the crackle now. This is Dixie Belle Crackle and it's just going to help really give us a cool finish. Now, we do need to stir it really well before we apply it. Oh yeah, it's really thick. Now, the thicker the application, the bigger the cracks. I think I'm going to vary it a little bit across the piece. Because um, on an old, authentically crackly piece, like what I showed you, it's kind of different in different places. Okay, let's grab a brush Ooh, and brush it on. It's like brushing glue on, kind of interesting. Yeah, and it is naturally gonna go on a little thicker in some places and thinner in others. It does say do not thin, so even though it's it's not even going on super smooth. That's okay. That's just going to help us in the long run here. And it does say just let this dry completely. I don't know, I'm gonna say probably an hour or two um, before it's fully dry. And then we'll apply the paint and watch the magic happen. 
All right, our crackle is dry. Um, and do give it ideally 24 hours if you can, just to give it the nice hardness that you want from it. It's, you can definitely tell it's thicker in some places than in others. Um, we are going to use cotton over top of this. I want that bright white, just like the, the top of the mantle. So I'm gonna use cotton and I, my hope is that this is just gonna crackle all over so we can see the difference in the color underneath. So let's see what happens. Now it does say on the jar, um, but I will, will remind you, you use like cross hatch motions. So we're gonna kind of go back and forth like this. It's gonna help keep us from going back over the, the place that we've already painted. Once it starts to crackle, we don't wanna go over it with the brush again and hopefully give us a little bit of added texture. So let's just... The nice part too of having the driftwood underneath this white, I can kind of almost distress it as I go by leaving just a little bit of that color peeking through and that will add to our aged look and texture as well. Alright, starting to crack as the paint dries is how, when it's gonna really start to appear. All right, there we go, look at that, it's coming. So the paint is just drying and it's only kind of sticking to certain places so it's cracking and giving that effect. And I love the driftwood underneath it, it's just the right color, it's not too dark where it's really stark contrast, um, but it does give it that really authentic look. So. I'm really happy with this. The cotton did cover well enough in just one coat. To leave it just like that, it does have the overall white appearance, um, but still with enough texture and dimension that one coat is enough. You couldn't, if you did a second coat, you're gonna mess up your cracks. So whatever paint you choose, you really gotta commit with, with just one coat here. Um, unless you want to cover some of the cracks, then you could do that as well. This needs to dry about four hours until it's just dry to the touch. And then if you want to seal it to give it that extra coat of protection, you definitely can just with a clear top coat with gator hide, something like that. Otherwise you can leave it just like this. So make sure you look how cool that looks. All right, we did it. We made this raw piece of brand new pine look like old chippy textured wood. And I gotta tell you, I'm really impressed with how it came out. I do think the driftwood is the perfect color underneath if you want that white chippy finish. Um, it is different textures as it goes through the piece. Some of the cracks are really small, some of them are really big, uh, and it does just have some, just some real dimension to it. So I'm really happy it matches the piece I was trying to match almost perfectly, so I can't wait to show you the final product. We're not, this is all finished and installed. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out my website, rootsandwingsfurniture.com, for more painting tips and tricks and DIY. Also, subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss a thing. Click the button below.